Good morning, guys. It is 7.52 in the morning. I am in my county's Hall of Records. I have to come and take my oath as a notary public. And it sucks that I have to take my oath with no makeup. But I am exhausted, guys. I am tired. I woke up a few times last night because I swore I heard somebody walking on my roof. Uh, long story. But anyways, um, yes. Uh, I hope there's a... Oh, man. I hope there's an exit up here into the Hall of Records. Let's see. Uh, I think I messed up. And my car does not off-road. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, I have to come take my oath so that I can start notarizing as of today. Um, I actually already have a, um, an appointment with the client at 11 to notarize something, so I need this to be done ASAP. We are here, as you can see, the County of San Bernardino's Hall of Records. Let's come do our stuff, guys. So I can record inside, so I guess I'll be back, guys. And I think I'm the first one here. <laughs> Julio is ready for therapy this morning. Come on, Julio. It's open then. Guys, we just found a what is it called? A mountain lion. Wait. Mountain cat. Make a make a right here. Right here. Oh, it's under the wait. Let me show you guys. It's under the car. Malibu. Hey guys, it's 2.13 in the afternoon and I'm here at work. I wanted to have a quick little chit chat with you guys. I know the angle of this is horrible. Let me see if I could use my... Okay, let's try it out. Oh, that made me able to set up something. Sorry. Okay, it's a little better. It's a little jiggly once it stops swinging around it'll stay still so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit sorry I'm just always amazed by the camera how um, you see the mirror and you see this queen and then you come out and you're like Jesus I'm fat <laughs> anyways I wanted to talk to you guys about the current situation with my ex um, we are not together uh, we are still in the process of divorcing he is a really great dad he is uh, there for his children in every way possible, sometimes a little bit too much, which also confuses me in the idea of maybe he misses his family, maybe he doesn't. But what I have come to the realization is that um, we have four children together, so we have a, a pretty big bond because of our kids. And my teeth look weird. We have a pretty strong bond because of our children. Um, and because of that, we do a lot of stuff together that sometimes may, s <sighs> sorry, may seem a little bit weird to some people. For example, um, us hanging out together. So, uh, because he was really close to my family, because he was really close to my brother, because he was always there and we kind of did everything together, um sometimes we do hang out together the, I'm not saying that that won't change if I met someone and that was an issue for them then maybe that might may stop um, or not be as often so yeah guys um, 
until I meet someone, then that will change. But in the meantime, I haven't met anybody, so that's not going to change. Um, like I had mentioned to you guys um, before, I'm really like... I was with um, my ex for... 13, 12, 12 or 13 years. I don't know. Um, I was with him for a really long time. So a lot of the time we were together. Um, sorry, I'm also doing something on the computer at the same time. So it's really hard to go from being with someone all the time to being, to not being with someone all the time. Now, another thing that um, I did want to mention is a lot of people are going to say, so why did you break up with him? If blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not saying that I regret separating from him. What I'm saying is I too did some stuff wrong. Maybe not as harsh or maybe not as bad as he did. Um, but also was not, you know, the greatest uh, person, you know, ever. But I have learned lots of stuff that I should have done it and lots of things that I wish I could have changed and I wish I should have done and I didn't um, but there's nothing I can do now we are separated and the only thing I can do now is move forward and if God decides that he is going to do something about our situation then he will do it. Um, but if not, you know, that's it. There's nothing I fucking do. So, excuse me. Oh, crap. So that is that. Um, other than that, I haven't met a person who I feel, I mean, I don't want to say that the people that I've met are not perfect and they're not, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just not the person I am looking for. And if I can't find the person that I am looking for, then I don't want to settle and just be with anybody. Because in that case, I could have just stayed with my ex and been unhappy. Or happy if he would have changed. I don't know. Point is, I'm not going to settle. And that's just that. It pisses people off. and I don't, I don't care. It's my life. You will live yours how you please. And I will live mine as I choose for me and my kids. And that's that. Um... And see, that's another thing that I've come to realize is that I'm not going to live my life based on what people want me to do or people judge me on what I do or not. Because in the end, people will judge you and then go and do whatever they want. And then you're like, wait a minute, but didn't you tell me not to be? But you're exactly this. Okay. You know, I had family. Ugh, don't even mention. Um, some family that betrayed me to the max. The worst you could do to a family member. They have done to me. Um... And I have chosen to cut them off completely because they are worthless to me. They are not going to be, and I don't care what people say, blood is not thicker than water. It's not. It's not. Um, but before I want to fetch somebody up, let's change the conversation. And I hope you guys are having a good day. It's been a little slow at work. I've actually given out a few, um, I've actually had a few clients this morning. But um, Okay, guys. Until I figure out what to talk about, what else to talk about, I'll be right back. Come on, Gigi. Guys, I look like crap. Squeaky. Squeaky. So. Gigi. Hello. Hi, Walmart. Oh, God, I have. My nose is feeling. Oh, God. Hey, guys. So, currently separating some. Uh, so the snacks for my kids for my girls school for when they take them in the morning and also for my son's um, therapy I have to send him some snacks so I usually send him there we go again sweet for cookies so yeah I didn't vlog too much today guys but I'm probably I'm really gonna keep up with my vlogging um was a pretty 
productive day today. Got work done and I'm a notary public, so it was pretty cool because I got my, as of today, I'm officially notary public again. This will be my third commission for my, going on 12 years now as a notary public, which is pretty cool. Um, and God is just blessing me. Like today was my third commission and, and um, my official first date is a notary public again. And I did three notarizations, notarizations today, which was pretty cool. My customers were like, liter they were literally just waiting for me to get this. And I thought it was, it was God blessing me. Like he knows I needed it. Um, been really slacking off on my yeah I'll talk to you guys about that later been really slacking off on my weight loss and it sucks um but I'm going on a road trip this weekend with my best friend and her boo thing um we're going, I'm not sure exactly where we're going, but it's going to be pretty fun. I'll vlog the whole trip, and I hope you guys enjoy it. This is my weekend off, so I think it's going to be so much fun. Um, I'm actually waiting for my um, husband, ex-husband, baby daddy. I don't know. To get here and drop off my son. And okay, guys, I'm gonna end the night here. I'm not gonna vlog it. Or actually, I don't know. We'll see. If you see, if you're seeing this, this is the end of the vlog. If I delete it, then you won't see this. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Bye.